hepatitis C virus infects 2 to 3 percent of the world population and is one of the leading cause of viral hepatitis, liver cirrhosis, and liver cancer, and the need for liver transplantation. Our research team uh, studied the hepatitis C virus vaccine antigens and the antibodies against the virus. To me, the hepatitis C E2 protein is very significant because it is basically our first glimpse of the protein machinery that the virus uses to enter your liver cells. So um, for a long time we had no idea what it looked like and now we have a very high resolution image of it so we can see its architecture. So using electron microscopy and x-ray crystallography we're able to take pictures of the hepatitis C protein for the first time. And now understanding how this hepatitis C protein interacts with the immune system we can take a first step towards translating it into a vaccine that will help protect patients against uh, viral infection in the future. Uh, or we can um, design small molecules that kind of bind these parts so that they interfere with um, what the machine is supposed to do and then they can be used as therapeutics. So the E2 glycoprotein is notoriously difficult to work with because uh, it's very difficult to make Another big challenge is it has a lot of sugars on top of it because it's not just protein, it's also 50% of its weight is actually sugar. And sugar, uh, when attached to protein, it moves around a lot, so it's very hard to crystallize. Um, so these are were the challenges that had to be overcome for this work. Leo Kong and in the Wilson lab and Travis Newsma in my lab were able to work together to evaluate multiple protein samples in order to find ones that we could image appropriately. And so Leo would bring samples over that he had worked very hard at purifying but maybe couldn't crystallize and Travis would look at them in the electron microscope and provide feedback. And this iterative cycle helped us to define and, and isolate specific uh, proteins. So Mansun is a virology lab and uh, we're a structure lab. Uh, so like many projects that we've done here at Scripps, uh, we sort of combine forces. Our lab has been set up for many years to actually look at the structure of broadly neutralizing antibodies and complexes with antigens, and as including the H, uh, antigens from HIV, uh, from influenza virus. So it was logical that uh, when Mansoon was working on HCV, that we'd actually set up and use all of the resources that we have in our lab. One thing that really surprised me about the structure uh, is that it seems unlike anything we've seen before. Uh, for envelope proteins of viruses. But this protein was completely novel and it suggests it's using a completely new mechanism to enter cells. And that in itself is very interesting to understand the evolution of viruses. We are very excited about these new findings. The hepatitis C research community does not have good idea how this protein looks previously. Now we provide the first snapshot of this protein uh, providing very, very detailed information how this protein folds and may function. Second, hepatitis C virus is one of the very difficult viruses to develop vaccines against. This is very, very antigenically variable. The new structure allows us to pinpoint how this protein folds and what, where are those variable regions and the glycans the virus used to evade. And using this information, we now can design um, and engineer the molecules to become a better vaccine antigen.